In the United States, between 2002 and 2011, there have been 257,000 anterior cervical disc fusions. If you include the procedures that have happened since 2011, together, the total population that have had this procedure done is roughly 1% of the United States. There has been an increasing cost trend between 2002 and 2011 for ACDF, with the surgeries increasing an average in price of $4,600. There's been an increasing trend of procedures occurring each year with the overall mean age at time of surgery increasing as well. The average age of someone having the surgery in 2011 was 54 years old. Before patients undergo an anterior cervical disc fusion, they will have to participate in physical therapy to attempt to decrease their pain, and they may take pain medication. In order to receive an anterior cervical disc fusion, candidates must meet the following requirements. They must have diagnostic tests, including an MRI, CT, or myelogram to show that the patient has a herniated or degenerative disc. They must have significant weakness in their hand or arm. Their arm pain must be worse than their neck pain. And lastly, their symptoms must not have improved with physical therapy or medication. Immediately after the surgery, common clinical findings on a physical therapy physical exam include pain, including hoarseness, sore throat, difficulty swallowing, incisional pain, and muscular stiffness as a result of the surgical procedure, decreased range of motion of the cervical spine, poor posture, which may have been present prior to surgery, decreased muscle length resulting from poor posture prior to and or after surgery or altered posture after surgery. Muscles that may be shortened include the paraspinals, upper trapezius, levator scapulae, and scalenes. Decreased strength of the upper quarter muscles may also be present. In a 2014 study, Hermanson et al. found that patients had significant impairments 11 to 14 years after undergoing an anterior cervical disc fusion. The most significant impairments include decreased neck muscle endurance on the ventral and dorsal side of the neck, limited range of motion, increased neck pain, decreased hand grip strength, and impaired balance were also significantly impaired as shown on the corresponding table. There are many evidence-based physical therapy interventions that are helpful for patients who have had an anterior cervical disc fusion. These treatments are focused on the impairments that result from the fusion. Among these interventions are helping patients maintain and regain range of motion in their neck and upper back, assisting patients with stabilization and neuromuscular re-education for deep neck flexors, lengthening and increasing flexibility of shortened muscles, strengthening the upper quarter muscles, and using manual therapy to cervical thoracic joints. In one study, it was shown that thoracic manipulation drastically reduced headaches and pain in a patient after an anterior cervical disc fusion. Anterior cervical disc fusion relieves arm pain in 92 to 100% of patients. Neck pain is relieved in 73 to 83% of patients. Physical therapy also decreases the risk of disc herniations above and below the fusion when treatment focuses on returning to active, natural function of the cervical spine. Physical therapy also decreases cervical spine pain and headaches following anterior cervical disc fusion. There are many outcome measures that are helpful for patients after an anterior cervical disc fusion. The numeric pain rating scale and visual analog scale of pain help identify the patient's current pain levels. The Neck Disability Index looks at how the patient's impairments in their neck affect their daily life. 
and the SF12 physical and mental component help quantify the health-related quality of life of the patient. The minimal clinically important differences for each of these outcome measures are listed here. In summary, approximately 1% of the population has had an anterior cervical disc fusion. There are four medical diagnostic criteria that must be met in order to have an anterior cervical disc fusion. There are several common clinical findings immediately after and 11 to 14 years after an anterior cervical disc fusion that relate to muscle length, range of motion, strength, balance, and pain. Physical therapy interventions focus on treating the clinical findings through flexibility training, strength training, postural adjustments, and manual therapy. Physical therapy decreases the risk of cervical spine pain, headaches, and disc herniations. And finally, there are numerous outcome measurement tools that can be used to determine patient progress, including the neck disability index, the numeric pain rating scale, the visual analog scale, and the SF12.